Saya Putri Ifah dari TV PSS Perlis. Hari ini saya akan memperkenalkan adik adik Maria binti Badrul Hafiz dari Sekolah Putrajaya Persin 82. Diharapkan resensi buku ini dapat memberikan manfaat kepada penonton TV PSS. Sebelum itu saya ingin mengucapkan ribuan terima kasih kepada adik kerana sudi meluangkan sedikit masa bersama kami. Silakan. Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone. Are you subscribed to my channel Aram Meraki? If you are, then you'll know that last year I have also written a book. And today I will be the same book that I wrote last year. I'm Mariam Zara from Bangladesh, a sixth grader at Sekolah Putra Jaya Persis 82. Today, I would like to share one of my favorite books, Agatha Utley. Actually, it has a few series, but this one is about the secret key. There are three different continuous books to the series, which is The Secret Key, Murder at the Museum, and The Silver Serpent. All three of these books were published by HarperCollins Children's Books. Agatha Otley was, was named after the famous Agatha Christie. If you don't know who that is, Agatha Christie became and remains the best-selling novelist of all time. She is known best for her 66 detective novels and 14 short story collections. Also, the world's longest running play, The Mousetrap. Her book has sold over a million copies in the English language and a million in translation. This book has about 324 pages, written by the fictional author Lena Jones. The title character is Agatha Odlow, who is 13 year old. She lives with her dad, Ruth Odlow, who is the head gardener at Hyde Park, London. Agatha has been a detective for as long as she can remember, just waiting for her first big case. Now, her room is full of both love and no bells, and a secret key that gives her access to a whole hidden side of London. Agatha is an intelligent girl who earned a scholarship to the St. Regis School. She is an ambitious, kind, hardworking, and a smart girl. We meet a few other characters in this novel, including Liam Lau, who is Agatha's best friend. Then we have the Sheep Thief, or carbon copies as they're known to everyone else. Sarah, Rue, and Brianna Pike, they're leading. The CCs are your typical mean girls at St. Regis. They're pretty, popular, and not afraid to treat those two with a profile. Unfortunately, like I did love. But last but not least, the character that we also meet is Professor Dorothy Dolivira. Of course, in every story, there will be an enemy, right? So, for Agatha, it's Sarah Rathbone. She's one of Brianna Pike's best friends. And Lord Patrick Rathbone. Sarah's father. 
was an evil member of the establishment he liked. Have you been wondering, how does Agatha have interest in this solving mysteries and documentaries in the first place? Well, wonder no more. Because it all comes from her mom, who died years ago when she was just a child. Agatha has never known how her mom died, so she wants to find out how in this book. One morning, Agatha was walking to school. She saw a man with a motorbike knock over a woman. She decides to help her and he can't help but notice the tattoo the man had, which is similar to the key she had in her room. But she thought nothing of it and just went on with her day like usual. Later that evening, Agatha went to the bathroom sink to wash her hands. But not even a single drop came out of that water jar. She suspects. Maybe sent by this run out of water work you want, you know? She got back home and listens to the radio in her room. It turns out that London is surrounded by a mysterious red moon. And apparently London won't be having much water for a while. She thinks. Maybe this will be connected to the situation in the morning, right? Now, this is where the adventure and mystery starts. Wow, that's for you to find out by reading this book, of course. After I read this book, I have gained more interest in mystery genre books since Agatha Audley was my first mystery themed book that I have read. I just love how Agatha was still able to solve the mystery while still going those multiple ups and downs in her life. I think that's all for me and thank you for your time. Marshallah, thank you. Thank you.